<clears throat> all right, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all glory, and honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the teacher of well. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Peace, love, and salutations. All right, to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother of my young, out of the Great Millstone, Columbus, Georgia camp. And on um, this evening, um, this lesson will be about not being complacent, man. Something real quick to the point. Lord willing to be edifying. This is Matthew 24 and verses 13. It says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Now, let's focus on this word, endure. Let's see what it says. Strong's G, 5278. Hupamano. Hupamano. Okay. It says, to remain, to tear behind. It says, not receive or flee. Right? So being uncomfortable would make you want to give up. Being comfortable makes you not focus on the task at hand. So we're not in this thing to be satisfied or being complacent. That's why the scriptures say uh, godliness with contentment is great gain. Roughly paraphrasing. Um, it says to persevere under misfortunes and trials to hold fast to one's faith in Hamashiach, which is Yahweh Shai, to endure, bear bravely and calmly ill treatments, to suffer, it says, to take patiently, to buy patient, suffer. So you want to remain, man. This truth is not about um, something going your way, right? It's about enduring, man. Taking up your cross, Bearing it, denying his flesh, denying yourself, a denouncing his world. Because um little do people realize and accept that a hey, thus saith the Lord, hey, amen. The Lord is coming back, man, to judge every man according to his works. That's why it's important for you to fear, right? And let's get that. Um Psalms. Chapter 2. Is that Psalms 2? I'm going to start at verse 10. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord Yahweh with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. That's why it's important for you not to cast away your confidence, man, and his truth and the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, you know. But the part I was getting at, we got to serve the Lord with fear, man, right? Because the Lord is viewing us. He has the scope on us. He's watching us. So um, let's grab Second Peter chapter 3. And let's get verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in in all holy conversation and godliness? Right, it says, looking for and hastening to the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on, on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Yeah, man, you how about Shemar is gonna burn this place, man? And so, knowing all these things gonna come to pass, what manner of person are you to be in our holy conversation and godliness? And that word conversation goes into uh, anastrophe, but just bag it up going into your behavior, man. Uh. Yep, and a scrofe. It says manner of life, conduct, behavior, right? So, um, how would you be behaving? How should you be, man? Examine yourself, man, whether you be in the faith. And if you examine yourself sincerely and truthfully according to the scriptures, man, we're not supposed to be comfortable and satisfied and, 
and out and out of those um things, man, and you know, thinking that you a nigga or living like a nigga or living like a two third, doing the things of a two third, cause you being a hypocrite, man. You know. So the Lord is not um, the Lord is not pleased with those things, man. Right? The Lord is not pleased with those things. Let's get Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. So we put here to suffer, man. Right? We got to bear the indignation. We went off as a people, as a nation. But only the hopeful elect is crying out, sighing out, right? They begging the Lord to deliver us, being contrite. They being wise about our, you know, uh, choices. They having the conscience, you know, being renewed daily. Right? Only the hopeful elect is considering, man. A lot of people are going to die, man. A lot of Israelites are going to be put to death. Right? The slain of the Lord shall be many, man. So it'll behoove you to come back and fear the Lord, man, with our truth and the sincerity and serve the Lord in truth and spirit, man, and sincerity, man. Right? Because the Lord is not BSing, man. He's not playing around. The Lord is going to kill men, women, children. Hey, two-thirds of Israel will be put to death, man. This is not about complacency, man. This is not about complacency. Um, second edge is 14. I end the lesson off with this. It says 13. Now, therefore, set thine house in order. Right. Talking about you. Your body is a temple. Right. Set thine house in order. Get yourself right, man. A, a learn this truth, a desire to sense some milk that you may grow thereby. Understand what you have to do as a man. Or you how about your shy? Understand what you have to do as a daughter, a woman. Right. A sincere sister of Yahweh by Shemar Shai, right? It says, and reprove thy people, comfort such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. It says, let go thee, Salaki, let go from thee mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature, man. Because being complacent, hey, that's that's like a have, having a woman spirit. A women want to be comfortable, want to, you know, want this world to keep going. Won't want the fashion of this world not to pass away, knowing that the scriptures say, hey, the fashion of this world going to pass away. It says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times. Why? Because it says, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter, man. See? For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. That's why it's important not to be uh, complacent, right? Because the Lord give us our daily bread, man, right? We, we, we need enough to get by. But Jake, wanna, they want to love it here. They love it here, man, you know? And the, and the Lord hate this world. He's not of this world. He prophesied against this world. You got the men of Yahweh Bashamah was shot of prophets. Prophesying, chant down Babylon, rebuking this place, rebuking the people, rebuking ourselves. Hey, hey, staying on track to the best of our ability, knowing that we're being watched, knowing that we're going to be judged. Right? Hey, so I feel like I hit the point. Hey, Albert decided it was a quick edifying lesson. Hey, stay away from complacency. Hey, man, that's, that's not the spirit to be in, man. Hey, um... So with that being said, I would like to close out by giving all glory and honor and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well. Peace, love, salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.